Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slip knot, and a slip knot starts most crochet projects. It gets the yarn onto your crochet hook. So I'm going to show you three different ways, and the reason I'm going to show you three different ways is because everybody learns differently, and one way that may be easy for somebody may not be easy for someone else, which is okay. So the first way I'm going to show you is you take the tail end of the yarn and you could drape it over your hand and you take the working end which is the end that's attached to the skein of yarn and you wrap it around your finger like this. You don't want to do it too tight, you don't need a purple finger, and you don't want to do it too loose. Then you hold, you can take these fingers and hold this strand of yarn. Then you take your pointer finger and your thumb on the other hand and bring the back yarn over the, the top and then you take this yarn and bring it back over that. So kind of like leapfrog, I guess, have you ever played that? With the yarn. Now you can put your hook in the yarn or in the loop and you can pull on the working end you can pull on the tail end and it tightens it. Or you can pull on the working end and it loosens it. You don't want it too tight or too loose. You just want it to just glide on the hook. The second way is you take your yarn like this and fold it into a loop. So you Fold it into a loop. Then you bring the working yarn behind, and then you take your pointer finger and your thumb, and you go through the loop, pull that yarn, hang on to these two ends, and pull. Then you can put your hook in. Oops. And tighten it or loosen it as needed. The third and final way is you take your, where's your tail, okay. Take your tail end, drape it over your hand, take your working end, and wrap it around, and you take your thumb and hold this, uh, hold this right here. You take your working end and wrap it around your fingers and make an X at the top Take your ring finger and hold that in place. Take your crochet hook, put it under the first strand, grab the second and pull through. Now when you take your fingers out, don't let go of these two ends and pull. Now tighten the yarn on the hook or you can loosen it or tighten it. So there you go. That is three different ways to make a slip knot. And if you need to rewind the video and play it again, go ahead and do that. And pick which way works best for you. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and leave a comment down below and let me know which way worked for you. Thank you. Have a great day.